Welcome to the podcast for Brain and Cortland in the morning on 98.1 K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Brain and Cortland with Luke Combs and Ain't No Love in Oklahoma. Friday morning at K-Hawk. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I had a dream right before I woke up this morning that you and I were on the air and you turned your head while you were talking on the air and you said the F word. <laughs> what? And in my dream, I was like, I bet I, this might be a dream. But then I was like, no, there's no way this is a dream. He really did it this time. He... And then I woke up and I was like, oh, thank God. It was a dream. But for some reason, in my dreams, our studio never looks the way that it does in real life. That's how you know it's a dream. See, but my brain didn't register that. It was like, no way. This this really happened. Brain's going to get fired. And then I woke up and I was like, phew. <laughs> Save another day. <laughs> well, it's early, but so far so good. If I turn my head like, which way did I turn my head? Did I go like this? Yes. Yeah. Budge. <laughs> I, listen. It's not even. It's not even funny. Yeah, you. It's too recent. I'm sorry. It's, it's still burned into my brain. We often get asked that question when we're a listener lunch or when we're talking to uh, to listeners at a remote or something. We'll we'll often get asked, "Hey, how do you guys like talk on the radio and just not accidentally say a bad word?" And, and, and I get it. It's weird. It's like when you put a microphone in front of my face. I, I just don't. I just don't swear. Yeah, because this is our job. This is our livelihood. Yeah, it's like when you're when you're on the phone with a customer or something at your job, do, do you swear? Yeah. <laughs> like if you if you're working at Casey's or Quick Star or someplace like that, you know, you don't say, "Hey, what a great bleeping day out there." <laughs> no matter how much you want to. <laughs> yeah, there's just something magical about putting a microphone in front of your face that yeah. just makes you snap right into work mode now i will say this when we like get going off on a tangent like when we're having fun and we're joking about stuff and it doesn't feel like we're on the radio that that's when i think people who are maybe new to the industry might have a little bit of difficulty kind of controlling what they say but i don't know you and i've been doing we're this so pros. long pros oh are we ever <laughs> Man, <laughs> clearly if you tune into this show on a daily basis, you're like, those people know what they're doing. Okay, so I'm actually going to a wedding for two people who I'm friends with who yeah. are in the radio industry. Yes. They both have their own morning shows. They're marrying each other. Wow. And so basically this wedding is going to be a bunch of radio people from all over the country. I cannot. That they're friends with, that they've worked with I over can, the years. I cannot suggest that. That you don't, nobody go. That's going to be a just, terrible <laughs> gathering of people. It's going to be amazing, so first much, of all. So much alcohol. But it's so funny because all these people work in like Chicago and Vegas and Florida and all of these big markets, Detroit. And then they're like, oh, you're in radio? Where do you work? And I'm like, Iowa. <laughs> They don't understand. They don't understand how nice it is here. Yeah. And the other thing, though, too, is if you tell them what station you work at, anybody who's been in radio long enough knows this station. This is a heritage country music station that's been in, in operation for over 50 years. Well, young people don't know Well, that, young though. people don't know anything anyway. So <laughs> why, why would we go to young people for any historical analysis? Well, these are all, you know, young radio people. Oh. They haven't been in the business as long as you, Brain. Those are my favorite kind of radio people. <laughs> I know everything because I'm 27. I think, though, it's going to be a really fun wedding. Oh, I have no doubt you'll have a blast. Radio folks know how to party. Yes, we do. <laughs> Unless you've got gout. Oh. Thanks. Well, that's just you. Okay. Brandon Cortland at K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids, number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Dancing in the country from Tyler Hubbard. Good morning, it's Braden Cortland. Don't know what your weekend plans look like, but we do know that Dirks Bentley is playing Vibrant Arena in Moline tonight. And, well, if you don't have tickets, we'd like to send you. We've got one final pair of tickets to give away today. And we're making it really easy because if you're our winner... These are digital tickets. You don't have to come pick them up. You don't have to go to Will Call. We literally just email the tickets to you. So simple. Just solve our disc in disguise again this morning at 710, and we'll send you the link for your tickets, and you can enjoy Dirks Bentley tonight and Moline on us. 
yeah, there's really uh, no other way to get free tickets this late in the game. So hopefully you've been keeping track of what songs we've done. There's a very big Dirks Bentley hit lurking out there. Sideways we, is the one you did yesterday. That is correct. That one is off the list. So there's a big one coming today. Mm, I wonder what it giving is. Giving you a hint already. <laughs> 710, your chance to win with your country concert leader, K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids, number one for new country, 98.1 K-Hawk. And last night, Lonely from John Party. Good morning. It's Braden Cortland on a Friday morning. The weekend is here. Maybe you're looking for something new to watch. Well, we have a segment right now called What We Watched, or really what we're watching. And something that I want to watch. I yes. don't know if you saw this yesterday, but season two of Monster officially arrived on Netflix. You remember the first season? Mm. <laughs> well, the second yes. season is about the Menendez brothers. Yes. And then they just announced what they're going to do for season three. Charlie Hunnam who is from the show Sons of Anarchy, yes. is going to be playing Ed Gain oh for boy. season three. And if you've never heard of him, he is a horrifying serial killer. Your official station for serial killer news. Okay, but that's that's not what either of us have no. started watching. No, we're actually both watching a different shows on Netflix. My wife really wanted to start watching a show that she had heard good things about called The Perfect Couple. And this is on Netflix. Nicole Kidman yes. is the star of this series. Along with some other faces you'll definitely recognize if you watch the show. I've seen some trailers for this. And so basically it is about this uber wealthy couple. Nicole Kidman and her husband, uh, Lieb Schreiber, uh, plays her husband in the show. They are super wealthy. The show takes place, I think someplace like Martha's Vineyard out east, this really affluent neighborhood. And so one of their sons is marrying someone and they're having the wedding and ceremony at their home. And so the night before the wedding, somebody dies. Oh. And so the so mystery. it's like a murder mystery. It is a murder mystery. And you meet all these different, we're two episodes in. I think it's six episodes in all. We're two episodes in. And it really has set things up nice. You, you kind of meet these characters. You discover different things about them. Right away, there are people you dislike. Mm -hmm. Right away, there are people you suspect. And there are other people who are you like, oh, I can identify with that person, which means they'll probably be the murderer at the end of the show. <laughs> but- you know, it's getting like a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes, which isn't awesome. But I've I've really been, I've been totally entertained each episode, about 45, 50 minutes. So it's not going to take up all your all your weekends. How so many episodes are there total? Six. There's six oh. episodes total. Well, that's not bad at all. Yeah, so I'll probably, maybe, hopefully finish it this weekend. Okay. So what are you diving into on Netflix? Well, I already finished what oh, I dove okay. into last night because it was only two episodes. It's a, a new two-part docuseries that just arrived on Netflix. It's called Into the Fire, The Lost Daughter. And it is insane. So it starts with this woman talking about how when she was 16, she gave birth and her mom talked her into giving up the baby. Okay. And so all these years later, 21 years later, she gets a letter in the mail from the adoption agency. It was a closed adoption. So she was thinking, oh, my daughter's, you know, finally reaching out to me. Yeah. And it turns out her daughter has been missing for 21 years. Oh my God. She disappeared when she was 14 years old. Oh. And so she gave this baby up thinking she would have a better life and she goes missing and they go on to solve the mystery of what happened to her. And I don't want to give anything away. No, don't. But it is wow. nuts what you find out. It's crazy. I was like glued to the screen for the entire documentary. Really, really good. Wow. Yeah. You got to watch that wow. one this weekend too, if you have time. Into the Fire, The Lost Daughter. Yeah. 73 minutes is part one. 79 minutes is part two. That so is insane. It's a bit of a watch, but I mean, they have, they have all the people involved in the case and- I'm, I don't want to say anything. Don't else. say anything. Okay, more. I'm not going to say anything. Else. Don't say anything because that that I will definitely <laughs> I will definitely check that out. So, couple of things for you to watch this weekend. It's burning Cortland on K Hawk for New Country 98.1 K Hawk. Good morning. It's burning Cortland. That's Jelly Roll, and I am not okay. Friday morning. Listen, I woke up this morning. I wanted to check and see uh, the playoff schedule for the Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark. But the first thing I saw on my phone this morning, and I know you're not a huge baseball fan because the Tigers aren't good that often. I'm wearing a tiger shirt. I know you are right now. During this conversation. So, uh, Shohei Otani from the Los Angeles Dodgers, the arguably the best player in baseball, uh, became the first member of the 50-50 club last night where uh, he became the first player in history to hit 50 home runs and also steal 50 bases in the same season. Wow. Are you ready for his stat line from last night? Okay. Shohei Otani went six for six. What's that mean? He hit 
the ball. He he got hit six times in six at bats. He went six for six, three home runs, ten runs driven in, two stolen bases. Unbelievable. So you're saying he did good? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Unbelievable. Just uh, one of the greatest all time seasons in baseball history. But let's talk about Caitlin Clark because the Indiana Fever last night wrapped up their regular season uh, against a team in Washington. I think they're called the Mystics. And uh, Caitlin Clark only played a little bit last night. She only played 20 minutes. Uh, the Fever rested a lot of their star players last night. Uh, and Indiana ended up losing the game by one. Their playoff seeding was already set. They're the number six seed in the WNBA playoffs. And they will be taking on the Connecticut Sun in the first round of the playoffs, which get underway this weekend. And so I'm not familiar with how the WNBA playoffs work. A lot of us are very new to this league because we hadn't watched, admittedly, that much before Caitlin Clark became involved. It's okay. A lot of new eyes, a lot of new fans on the WNBA this year. So the first round between the Indiana Fever and the Connecticut Sun, it's a best of three. So <laughs> first team to win two out of three moves on to the next round. And here's the thing. The Connecticut Sun will host games one and games two. So if Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever want to play a playoff game in front of their home crowd in Indianapolis, they have to win one of the first two games in Connecticut or the season is over and they'll never even get to play a playoff game in front of their home crowd. <laughs> it is. It's kind of a wanky deal in a way. <laughs> I know wanky. It's not the greatest word, but <laughs> sorry. Where did that come I'm from? not sure where it came from, but it's kind of, it's kind of strange. So, uh, by the way, if you want to watch the Fever take on Connecticut, Caitlin Clark makes her WNBA playoff debut on Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. And that game will be televised by our friends over at KCRG TV 9 on ABC. And then they'll play again on Wednesday. If they win one of those first two games. What are their odds of winning? Uh, they beat Connecticut during the regular season. Okay. The only the only other WNBA team that Indiana didn't beat was the Las Vegas Aces. If they would have drawn Las Vegas in the first round, I was like, <laughs> that wouldn't have been so good. But Connecticut, they've got a shot. I think they'll win at least one of those first two games. I think that Caitlin Clark will get a home playoff game. I'm firmly convinced, firmly convinced. By the way, the ratings for the WNBA came out. And the average ratings for WNBA games this year involving Caitlin Clark, 1.2 million viewers per wow. game. Average viewers for an NBA game, 1.56 million. She's already got Ooh. the viewership up to just under the NBA. So Caitlin Clark with a historic first season in the league. It's Brady Cortland on 98.1 K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. That's Shibuzi and a bar song. It's Brady Cortland on a Friday morning. And that means it's time to honor another outstanding area first responder on a first responder Friday. Remember, we could always use some more entries on a first responder Friday, so send those in. And if they haven't been picked yet, send them in again. <laughs> you can nominate a deserving area first responder on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. It's super easy. Just ask the winner of this week's award. Kyle Pearson. Kyle was nominated by Patty Booth, and the entry says... I don't know what happened to the entry. <laughs> uh, it says Kyle has a full-time job, yet volunteers his time to the Ely Fire Department and to Mount Vernon Ambulance. He can be up all night caring for people and then work all day, but he loves it and is always smiling about it. He is very compassionate and empathetic. He selflessly volunteers his time for the safety and betterment of our community. Kyle also actively participates in training to obtain and retain skills needed for these positions. We need more people like Kyle in the world. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes. <laughs> Don't you love when the internet just ruins your day? It's a, it's a bad internet Friday, <laughs> but fortunately it's also a first responder Friday. Congratulations, Kyle. Uh, thanks for the nomination. You read more about Kyle, by the way, on the K-Hawk app and or our Facebook page where you share that post. Let yeah. people know he's our winner this week. Shout it from the rooftops. Kyle winning gift cards from both Wild Hogs in Walford and from Honor and Respect. So congratulations. And once again, send in those entries. If you know a great first responder in Eastern Iowa, we want to yeah. give them a shout out. So many of them out there doing amazing things and keeping us safe every single day. So nominate one now using your 98.1 K-Hawk app, assuming your internet works better than ours does. <laughs>
It's Brady Cortland and K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids, number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Do I make you want it from Billy Currington? It's Brady Cortland on a Friday morning. Happy National Queso Day, by the way. It is National Queso Day. Go out and smother something. <laughs> in queso. In queso. <laughs> Sorry. Let me clarify. We're not encouraging you to Let smother anyone. Let me clarify. <laughs> Put the pillow down and grab some queso. <laughs> Okay, listen, it's been kind of a rough week for restaurant news, and we are going to do a break right now on a couple of different restaurants, but we're going to balance it out with good news and bad news, right? Okay. Okay, so let's hit them with the bad news first. Uh, this is a story that we confirmed yesterday. We had a listener reach out to us on the K-Hawk app, which we always love hearing from you, no matter what you have to tell us. Yeah, if you know restaurant news, like a place of opening or closing, share it with us. Yes, because that's what our listener did. And he said, hey, I live up in the Center Point area. And he goes, I'm pretty sure that La Cantina Bar and Grill in Center Point has closed. And I scoured the internet, Facebook, news reports, mm -hmm. and I saw nothing. So I went ahead and, and reached out to La Cantina Center Point yesterday, and I did receive word back that they are indeed closed for good. Uh, they opened up that Center Point location in 2023. Of course, before that, it was Jonesy's forever, yeah. you know, in Center Point. And, uh, and, so, and I know that people in Center Point were excited to yeah. have a Mexican restaurant so close. And La Cantina, of course, still locations in Marion and Cedar Rapids, uh, very high ratings for their food. Uh, don't ask my wife about their margarita flights because she will remember it. <coughs> uh, they're very good, by the way. So uh, you can still go to those two locations. But yes, the Center Point La Cantina Bar and Grill has indeed closed. Okay, well, I have some good news to report, and it has nothing to do with the Mexican restaurant. Okay. We are getting a new restaurant in Iowa City over in the North Side neighborhood, which is where we went to eat at Hamburg Inn. Oh yeah, okay, I know that place now. So that, that little area of downtown Iowa City, they're getting a new ramen restaurant called Paper Crane Ramen Shop and Cocktail Lounge. Oh, I like the name. So it's at 121 North Lynn Street. That's where Marco's Island was, which had opened a couple of years ago. And not only is it going to be a dine-in restaurant, with a wide variety of ramen, but they're also going to have this cool little cocktail lounge that has a menu with appetizers and small plates and a fancy cocktail menu. So there's like the restaurant portion and then there's the lounge portion. And the people behind this restaurant are also behind the Webster in Iowa City, which oh, okay. is right down the street. And it's a very popular, classy place to eat. That is a very popular place. You're right. Uh, so once again, uh, a new place opening in Iowa City, which is always great news. Have you ever had like actual ramen before? You're, Not like ramen noodles that yeah, you buy at when, the grocery store. I think when you say the word ramen, we all think, oh. The orange package, mm, yeah. 50 cents when they're on sale. <laughs> That's what I ate throughout college. No, I've never had like an official Me either. authentic ramen bowl. But my friends are obsessed. Yeah, they're very trendy right now. Very and popular. There's quite a few places in the Iowa City, Coralville area that have ramen. Okay. Not so much up here, though in the Cedar Rapids area. So maybe eventually we'll get something up here. You can read more about Paper Crane, Ramen Shop and Cocktail Lounge opening in Iowa City on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Knee Deep, Zach Brown Band and Jimmy Vuppet at Spring in Cortland on a Friday morning. And tonight is the night that Dirks Bentley will play Vibrant Arena in Moline. And looky here, we have one more pair of tickets to give away. If you've been holding out hope that you're going to win tickets this week, today is your very last chance. Yeah, wait to wait till the last minute. But that's okay. <laughs> I get it. It's fine. We're playing Disc in Disguise. We've taken a clip of a Dirks Bentley number one song. We've reversed it. And you just have to tell us the title of the song. Here is your Friday clip. I think that's pretty easy. There's a couple of parts in there that sound really familiar, or it yeah, should be like. Right? Yeah. One more time. Okay. If you can come up with that Dirks Bentley song title, you're going to the show tonight. Call her 10 guesses first at 365 3698 or hit the call us button using your 98.1 K Hawk app. Good luck. Portland. And we are giving away our final pair of tickets to see Dirks Bentley tonight. Hey, all good morning. You are caller number 10. Who's this and where are you calling from? Mackenzie from Monticello. All right, Mackenzie, take a listen. Oh, 
What Dirk song is that? Is it What Was I Thinking? Yeah, you are thinking correct. Yeah. <laughs> the last pair All right. of tickets. You got them. Awesome. Way to go, Mackenzie. The last pair of tickets to go see Dirk's Bentley. That show tonight at Vibrant Arena in Moline. Congratulations. That means if you didn't win, you have to buy him now. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> we tried. Uh, the Dirk Show. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country. 98.1 K-Hawk. Young Love and Saturday Nights from Chris Young. It's Brandon Corlin on a Friday morning. Our final weekend where part of it will be summer. And then it's all fall now, baby. After the autumnal equinox. And so we have some of the uh, big events going on. Kicking things off with the National Cattle Congress Fair at the National Cattle Congress in Waterloo going on through the weekend. All kinds of live entertainment, food, carnival activities. Of course, Clay Walker is going to be there Saturday night. We're giving yeah. away one more final four-pack of tickets next hour at around 840. So make sure and tune in to win those. And we've got Lauren Elena coming up tonight. She's going to be doing a show at Riverside Casino and Golf Resort at 8 o'clock. Tickets are still available if you want to go see Lauren. Let's keep the concerts coming. Dirks Bentley, we told you tonight, Vibrant Arena in Moline with special guests Chase Rice and Ella Langley. And I believe there are still tickets available for that show if you didn't win them already from us. So there's a really cool market called Vintage Market Days of Eastern Iowa that's coming up at Hawkeye Downs. This is going on today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Lots of cool vendors there from all over the Midwest. And I think it's it's not too expensive to get in. I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that. So okay. uh, that's where I'm going tonight with my mom. Speaking of markets, tomorrow, the final downtown Cedar Rapids Farmer's Market of Aww. the year. And uh, you know the drill. If you've been there before, things get underway at 730, wrap up around noon. And uh, hopefully the weather cooperates tomorrow because who doesn't want to go downtown and enjoy the farmer's market one last time this year? And speaking of enjoying outdoor events, the 10th annual Asian Fest is happening at Nubo City Market tomorrow from noon to 8 p.m. It's free to attend. They've got all sorts of dancing and food and entertainment. It's going to be a good time. I know it's not October. But Marion Oktoberfest is coming up tomorrow on Saturday from noon to 3 p.m. You know, Oktoberfest is usually held in September. I know. Right? I know. And I'm German. I should know that. <laughs> uh, all kinds of things you can do. Uh, a commemorative tasting glass, of course. Samples, music and games, a traditional stein holding contest. Here, hold my stein. Hammerschlagen. Who doesn't love the Hammerschlagen? <laughs> uh, best dressed awards. It's a fun time in Marion. So uh, tickets are uh, $40, and they are still available. Obviously, 21 and over event only. Yes. And finally, we've got the Eastern Iowa Wedding Show coming up on Sunday from 11 to 3. This is at the Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center. They've got catering samples, cakes and desserts, drinks, live music, prizes, a whole lot more. General admission, by the way, is free for this, but if you want to get in early, you can buy a VIP ticket. Including hammer slogan. No, I don't think they're going to be doing no. that at the Easter Hang on, <laughs> wedding just, show. <laughs> this just in: they are not hammer slogan is not at the at the wedding show. You okay. don't want that at your wedding? Why who, not? Who wouldn't want hammer slogan? <laughs> okay, you can get all the info on those events and more going on this weekend throughout Eastern Iowa on the ninety eight point one K Hawk app. K Hawk, this town's been too good to us. From Dylan Scott, Brandon Cortland on a Friday morning. Uh, listen, we think Biagi is just too good to us, but we're willing to share. <laughs> uh, we have one final Tuesday at Biagi's for September Listener Lunch. I've never seen you share anything at Biagi's at Listener Lunch. You ate all that lasagna last week. <laughs> Here's the deal. So you you missed uh, the first week of Listener Lunch this month. And so uh, I ate with our group and Jen, of course, our sales rep was there. And I shared the banana cream tiramisu with her. I had to try it. There, I knew there was no way I could eat it all. And so she did have a couple of bites, but there was, of course, leftovers that I took home and mm, never saw again. But Of course. That's the fate of leftovers that I eat home with, with teenagers. So. Well, I think I'm going to have to get dessert this week since it's our last lunch there. Hey, we're going to go all out at Biagi's next Tuesday. You can be there with us, with you and your work crew. Uh, if you want to get entered for Lister Lunch, you can do that on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. You're not only entered in the drawing for our final September location, uh, at Biagi's, but also for the rest of the year. Yeah, and you want to get entered as soon as you possibly can because we typically start calling our winners right around 9 o'clock. Yeah. And that's a little over an hour away. So if you enter, 
Make sure you answer your phone around 9 if we call you. Free food's on the phone. Yeah, don't you want bread? Don't you want to eat me? Hello, it's bread. Bread on the phone. <laughs> it won't be weird at lunch, we promise. <laughs> no, it will be. Yeah. It's always weird at lunch. It's true. It's a promise we really can't make. <laughs> Uh, enter right now for Lister Lunch. Maybe we'll call you this morning. Do it on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. It's a new Music Friday on Country Quickies. Here's Brain and Cortland with the music and the other country music news of the day on 98.1 K-Hawk. Well, before we get to the new, new music, let's start off with uh, news involving both Jelly Roll and Kane Brown. They have both signed on to be a part of CBS's New Year's Eve Live, Nashville's Big Bash. Both will perform uh, for the television program from downtown Nashville as uh, fans and artists ring in New Year's. The Bash will return to Nashville's Bicentennial Capital Mall State Park for a five-hour broadcast. Now, of course, they're just the first two of the many performers that will well, take part in this special. they got to fill five hours. <laughs> yes, they do. So, I mean, they can both sing a while, but Kane Brown and Jelly Roll, the first two who have uh, been revealed. So Jake Owen is celebrating one of the things he's most proud of in life, his sobriety. That's awesome. He hopped on social media this week to mark the anniversary of the day he decided to turn his life around. September 16th marked three years since the life-changing day. Jake Nones said he wasn't happy with the person he became each time he drank, so he decided to stop. And he also encouraged other people who are going through the same thing, writing, To anyone out there struggling or feeling like you're not enough, remember that progress is still progress, even if it's slow. Be kind to yourself and don't let yesterday's mistakes define your tomorrow. As the saying goes, every day is a new beginning. Take a deep breath, smile, and start again. Congratulations, Jake. Yeah, amazing. Okay, new music starts now. Let's start with albums. Mitchell Tenpenny has a new album out today. It's called The Third. Guessing because it's his third, third album. album. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Keith Urban has a new project out today. It's called High. How do you feel about it? I'm a little angry. Oh. First of all, all the song titles are in caps. But so it's like he's yelling at Stop you? Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Uh, it features songs you've heard before, including Straight Line, Messed Up Is Me, Wild Side, and the uh, duet with Laney Wilson called Go Home With You. Check it out. An album I'm a little more pleased with so far is the new, <laughs> is the new one from Midland. It's called Barely Blue. Eight new tracks from them today. Zach Brown Band has an EP out today called No Wake Zone. It features five songs. Two of them are new releases, My Kind of Medicine and I Lost It. And Chase Rice has a new album out today. It's called Go Down Singing. Okay, so that's the albums. Yes. Let's get to songs. As promised, Kit Moore has dropped his new single, Live Here to Work. It's his first release since signing with Virgin Music Group, and he promises there is a ton more music on the way. Justin Moore has dropped another song off of his upcoming album, This Is My Dirt. It's called Love Your Hometown, and here's what it sounds like. There ain't So Justin's new album includes 12 songs, and it will be released in full on October 11th. Ian Munsick has a new song out today called Western Woman. L. King has dropped a new country song called High Road. And finally, Kelsey Ballerini has another song from her upcoming album out today, too. It's called Two Things, and here's what this one sounds like. Her entire new album, Patterns, is due out on October 25th, but you can check out two things now. Those Ooh. are your country quickies today. God, I know lots of new music we're talking Gosh, about. Gosh, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, check it out. Listen to some over the weekend and let us know what you think. You can message us on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. Tyson's Home Farm Auto is the proud sponsor of Brain and Cortland's Furry Friday. We now introduce you to another adoptable dog or cat from a local shelter on 98.1 K-Hawk.
It's Brain and Cortland on a furry Friday, and we're being joined in studio. We have multiple guests, multiple <laughs> dogs. It is the furriest of furry Fridays here. Uh, Lindsay with Safe Haven of Iowa County. Hello there. Hi. And also <laughs> joining us, we have Dora and Diego. No, not from Dora the Explorer. <laughs> We just have two big babies. Yes. So they are siblings, correct, Lindsay? Yes, they're siblings. So as we just were talking, you know, oh. they're looking for a home together. They've been together all their life, and they're definitely a bonded pair. So, Brother and sister. Yes. So we've had bonded pairs up for adoption before on a furry Friday. Yeah. But these two, Dora and Diego... They're uh, they're a little larger than than your than your average size dog, but that's okay. Yeah, that's I think probably what's making them have a little more of an extended stay with us. You know, it's kind of a, a obviously a two for one, but two for yeah. one with two big dogs. Um, yeah. Diego's probably. 80-ish pounds, Dora's 50 to 60 pounds, so yeah. both on the larger side. Diego really loves looking out the window. He does. He like, you cannot draw out. him away. So about how old are Dora and Diego, yeah, would you say? between seven and eight years old. Okay. Um, like seven and a half, I think, is what their oh. birthday is. So, um, yeah, they really, you know, they're checking everything out today, but they are, they do truly uh, wind down and, you know, are the perfect middle-aged pair um, they like, you know, enjoy their walks together. Mm -hmm. Um, they were with us, um, several years back, um, from, a, a middle-aged gentleman who was having some health issues and just, you know, couldn't physically continue to care for them being larger dogs. And he really, um, it was a really tough decision for him to surrender them. And they were in a home for, um, well over a year, a local home and after being adopted and he had some changes come up at home where he was working long hours and also um, just didn't feel like he had the time to to deliver to these guys. So oh. they've been back with us most of the spring. They came in early this spring and um, yeah, we've put a few pounds off of them. They came in a little <laughs> overweight, but they're getting their... They just like their, snacks, okay? They they're yeah, middle-aged. They well, they, uh, and, and also if they if they get the, the amount of exercise yes, that they yep. that they should have, they're, yeah. you know, they're big active dogs. They need to be yes. in a, in a fenced-in yard, like you said, go on walks. But, yep, they you enjoy know, and, their walks. And they are big dogs, but they, they look to be very well-behaved. Yeah, you mentioned, they are. You mentioned cats are definitely a no-no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we learned that from the first owner um, that had yeah. him for several years, you know, their first several years of life that he would not do cats with them. Um, so that's something also, you know, that they're looking for a, a feline, uh, no, no feline home. Um, but <laughs> they do, they've been to several different community outings and they do really um, get along with just about everybody they meet. Well, that's awesome. They're, they're just so. friendly. They're looking for a forever home. Yes. And listen, they've been together their whole life. We are not breaking up these siblings <laughs> no. right now. No, so they, if they you want well more information on how to, uh, to bring Dora and Diego home, uh, what do they need to do? So they are um, up on our website, um, we say pets.com. You can read a little bit more about their story there. The online application can be completed there to set up a meet and greet. We're open um, Saturday mornings from 10 to noon. Speaking of Saturday, we're not open this Saturday. We had a great first day of our fall plant sale. Um, we have lots of selection of pumpkins and gourds and oh, mums yeah. and oh my god, um, yeah, <laughs> all sorts of great fall um, decor and items. So um, going on today from ten to uh, ten to six, and tomorrow Saturday from ten to three. So we're not open for visitors just because a lot of our volunteers are helping out with the plant sale. That takes a lot of strong volunteer efforts for that. Um, but otherwise, we are available most Saturdays. Um, for visitors or by appointment. So these guys are ready to go. Oh. We will have some pictures and video of Dora and Diego up on the K-Hawk so Facebook sweet. page. They're they so are sweet. They are a couple of wonderful dogs, like yes. we said. If you've got the room for them in your home and in your heart. Yes, and your car. And your, yeah. <laughs> yes, and they your take car. up the whole back seat. <laughs> they do. They really do. Well, uh, Lindsay, thanks so much for bringing up Dora and Diego today. Thanks for having us. It's a furry Friday on 98. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Up? You are caller number 10. Nice. Way to go. What's your name? Uh, Sam. Sam, congratulations. You have our final four packet tickets to go see Clay Walker Saturday night up at the Cattle Congress. Way to go, Sam. Our uh, final four packet tickets. Uh, once again, the, uh, the Cattle Congress have been going on all weekend long. 
uh, Clay Walker, the Saturday night show up in Waterloo. So congratulations. It's Brandon Cortland on 98.1 Khawk. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 Khawk. Ella Langley, Riley Green, and You Look Like You Love Me. Brandon Cortland on a Friday morning. You look like you need another Khawk cash cow code. All right, what is it? <laughs> the code this hour is 581. 581. Yep, that's the latest code you need to get entered on your Khawk app that could be worth that $30,000 grand prize and we're going to have codes through five o'clock today yeah and then we're going to take a little bit of a break for the weekend but we'll come back monday with even more codes that cow is tired <laughs> we got to put her out to pasture been shooting out coins all week <laughs> wow i was going to say we need to let her udders heal but <laughs> both sound terrible you're right maybe we should just stop there uh hey download the k-hawk app if you haven't already and keep playing the cash cow all day long with 98.1 K-Hawk.